You may have noticed that sometimes on your Facebook birthday notifications, more than one person has a birthday on the same day. In a room filled with people, how many people are needed to know for certain that two of them have the same birthday? The birthday problem, in a slightly different form, appeared in De Marvre's 1738 edition of The Doctrine of Chance. Let's work with an average of 365 days in the year and assume there are no twins, triplets, quadruplets, quintuplets, sextuplets, etc. in the group. In other words, the people are independent and that each birthday has an equal chance of coming up. Off the top of your head, or intuitively, you may say there are 365 days in a year, so if there are 366 people in the room, then there are definitely two people who would share the same birthday. But really, all you need to find is, how many people do you need in a group together before you get a 50% chance of two people with matching birthdays? Working in the same way that de Moivre did in the 17th century, let's use the complementary rule. Let's find the probability that the birthdays are different. If there are two people, the chances are of their birthdays being different, 364 out of 365, and so it goes down as the number of people increases. When we reach 23 people, we get our answer. 1 minus 365 factorial over 365 minus 23 factorial, all over 365 to the power of 23. So, when there are only 23 people, the probability is 0, 0,5073, just over 50%. Next time you're in a group of about 23 people, find out how many people share birthdays. As people get older, they may tend to forget birthdays. Pedro has to always remind his father of the birthdays coming up in their family. Pedro's father knows that one day he will struggle to buy birthday presents for all his family when he retires, so he decides to take out a retirement annuity. Retirement annuities are based on probabilities. The probability of a future payment to someone like Pedro's father is based on assumptions about a person's life expectancy. The size of the payout decreases as the age of a person increases. Pedro's father should plan to get his annuity payout when he turns 65. Probability theory is applied to other aspects of everyday life. The South African Bureau of Standards tests the reliability of products using probability. Climatologists use probability to predict weather conditions. Probability is also used in biology, psychology, economics, engineering, mechanics, optics, thermodynamics, quantum mechanics, computer vision, the list is endless.